Hello and welcome to Caves of Code. We're uh, having a look at the Moonstair update. If you're a subscriber to the Freehold Patreon, which uh, link in the description, um, you will get a code where you can you can actually try out the Moonstair update. I'm going to be um, trying it out. I've I've spoiled a little bit of the story, just the beginning of the new quest for myself, but I figured I'd not include it in case you uh, don't want to spoil it for yourself just yet. But um, just for those of you who haven't beaten basically what is available in CUD up till now, um, this will be post Tomb of the Eaters. So, uh, you know, if I if I bump into storyline, there's a, probably, possibly going to be a lot of spoilers here. So, you know, bear, uh, just, just, you know, kind of keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to try my best just to, we're, we're going to be covering the new area, having a look at the new area as well as um, kind of focusing on some of the interface upgrades that have been included in this update. I'm pretty excited about, uh, you know, the, the latter half of that. I, I really love basically like any quality of life features added to CUD and, um, oh, okay. They're not hostile to you. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, and uh, this this uh, this update features a pretty robust, uh, if not like immediately apparent, uh, update to the to the interface and code. It's gonna probably do a lot to uh, improve the general experience for new players to code, as well as uh, veterans. You might already notice um, basically the actual like game screen for code is now like it's it's uh, almost like a window. And then everything else, which j used to be kind of floating windows on top of CUD, are now like built in. They're 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 like kind of attached to that screen. And I think this is a just overall an improvement. Um, it's definitely something that I uh, found maybe I wouldn't say frustrating or even really a big deal, but would kind of get tiring. Would would be like if I was moving from one side of the screen to the other. And then the log would like switch places. As far as I know, it doesn't do that at all now because the the full game is on display now. So I could I guess I could, I could have a look. I haven't I haven't, it never occurred to me. Let's let's go to as close as I can to the right side of the screen. And I mean it, it like it really isn't gonna matter because yeah, like this is this is the full screen now. I know that it, it was this was like just a monumental undertaking. Um, I know a, a couple of the devs were, uh, were like, this This was a challenge. This was a huge challenge. And I know it seems like a lot of people are going to kind of take it for granted. I don't. I, I super don't take it for granted. And also, what is this? I think these are some of the new sound effects. I have turned on. There is an included mod for beta sounds. So there's some new sound effects. I This is actually my second attempt to... Uh, properly record this because I had mods on the first time, which was just a really, really dumb thing to do. So here's the new map. Um, this is possibly final. I'm I'm going to throw that out there tentatively, but this is the new area. I'm not even sure necessarily what it's called. Um, we're going to go check it out though. Oh, cool. We have like mouse over effects. I Can I do that in here? This just kind of tells us what's around us. So we have like, we still have our three screens. We have like what is around and adjacent to us. We have uh, our map up here. We have some new buttons as well, which um, right now are not n super working properly because some of them have description and some of them don't. Um, I'm sure many people are reporting that. I'll probably report that after I'm done here um, to the, the, you know, bugs suggestions. But anyway, yeah, you're gonna see, you see this like total like new crystal area, which I'm, I'm really excited to sh check out. This is the area you're gonna be required to, to go to basically um, after the Tomb of the Eaters. And uh, it seems to me like, so this kind of works similarly to the Rainbow, um, the Rainbow Wood in that you can't walk through it on the overworld map. Um, it, it doesn't l make you lost instantly like the Rainbow Wood, thankfully. It just tells you, no, <laughs> don't, you can't do it. So that means if you want to get as close to this, uh, I have to assume objective, then you're gonna wanna probably move through the deep jungle, which is a bit of a risk. And in fact, you're even gonna have to 
like dive into the deep jungle. I don't really. Oh, we have an. Is that an ogre? Oof. We sh shook off days. Ogres are tough business, and those are, I think, deep. Yeah, those are those are deep slumberlings. I haven't really dabbled in deep slumberlings. Oh, I love these new juicy sound effects. Squish. Squash. Love it. Oh, even like attacking trees has a sound effect. Oh, that's so cool, actually. I've, um, if you're wondering about the build, it's a burrowing claws build, which I've, you know, very, very, very boring, but double muscled, burrowing claws, heightened hearing, and horns. Horns and beak, I figured horns and beak are both uh, short blades, and they're going to give us a nice uh, chunky advantage when we're, you know, making offhand attacks. Those are, I think they are both accounted as short blades. So, uh, and this is of course a short blade build in case that wasn't super obvious. Um, and, uh, you know, I've never really done this before, but I uh, basically increased my heightened hearing by a lot just so we could have an, a little bit of an advantage to seeing our surroundings before they make uh, their way towards me because I want to I wanna maybe think about our, our, you know, the new surroundings, new enemies before we encounter them. And here we are. You have lost sight of the Ebon Fulcrum. Well, that's, okay, so this is the Moonstair. This place, this location is just called the Moonstair. And we already have a new creature, the N-Dimensional Star Shell. They're neutral, though, however. So not necessarily a... Oh, there exists a dimension known as the Gulf of... So we're encountering dimensional beasts already. Um, wow. Okay. So what are these? Dawning ape. Dawning ape. I don't know what that, what my, like, honestly, my imagination on what that even is, is kind of all over the place. But we got these kind of hexagonal, uh, prisms. I mean, I have to imagine we're just seeing the base of them. If, if we were seeing them honest like honestly and uh you know in in three dimensions then we would probably see these giant kind of cascading crystals so I, I like this idea that we're like seeing just the base of these so this is definitely an enemy um and that looks like a cherub that is a zero gel that is a zero gel okay so we're gonna uh, shoot them just for starters uh we hit them for 28 damage they're fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Um, oh, I meant to take dual wielding, but I guess I did not. Let's see if we can't do like a dismember. Oh, I, I don't have uh, axes equipped. I'm not sure why dismember is still on there. Let's do like a, a hobble. We'll just like kind of hit them. Ooh, you were too exhausted to act. Okay, so they're doing some really nasty stuff. We're stunned. What am I? What has happened? We have like three or four, eight effects on us. Disguise has the appearance of a leech farmer. When did that happen? 18 damage per turn from poison by gas. Confused acts semi-randomly. Disoriented. Negative four D, V, and... Okay, so these guys absolutely destroy your mental armor. And your, your AV. I kind of want to sprint away. Your health has dropped. I meant to grab some herb berries. Um, tell you what, do we have enough skill points to take poison tolerance? Let's do that. Parched. Are we too confused even to, to drink? So this thing has already destroyed us. You feel a cool swelling as your organs start to glow through your skin. Oh my god. <laughs> uh this this guy is nasty. I'm trying to escape them. I'm trying to shake off the effects. But like every time they hit me, there's a good chance something detaches from me. What is happening? 
Am I even myself right now? Okay, I'm finally not confused. It feel, like it seems like, oh, I see clone of me. No, that's not me. That's someone else. Who am I? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Um, oh, cool. We have sore throat. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, so we have sore throat. That's not good. We're hobbled. Dueling stance, plus two to hit. Does this thing just like... Oh, wait a minute. Page two. Coated with plasma. Famished. Budding. We'll spawn a clone soon. Phosphorescent. Illuminated. Flying. We're, we are flying. Well, at least there's that. I can escape this hell. Holy crap. That... That was quite something. Why am I... Why am I disguised? I feel like, here's my thoughts. I feel like this, um, a clone of Seer detaches from me. I feel like this slime or whatever it is, gel, just like hits you with every single like random effect. It just slams you with like every single effect you can imagine. Um, that's what it seems to me, and including good ones, too. So it's just like pure chaos. You, you're not yourself anymore. You, you don't even remember who you were. Everything is gobbledygook. It's confusion cranked up to 11. Good lord. All right, we're going to rest. Uh, apparently, I can't rest. I, don't, I wonder if some of my shortcuts have been uh, uh, destroyed. Search for rest. I appreciate that. I don't know if that's new or not. Uh, adventure. I'm not seeing rest. I'm seeing a lot of mat west. That's not west. That was west. Um, movement. Okay, let's let's get rid of this. Adventure. Stop it. Get 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 out of here. Cancel. No. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Adventure. Uh, wait. Wait. Uh, rest until healed. Is still omatilled. Okay. So I'm not sure why it's not working. So I'm just going to do shift W. That seems to be working. Remember, th this is this is early and there are going to be problems. Okay. We're, we're okay. So I don't want to be hitting... No zero gels anymore. Oh, there it is again. There's the same one. Hopefully my clones take care of it. We do have a Eigen rifle here. Oh, please. glow dims. The glow dims until it's extinguished. Okay, I think we're okay for now. If I get glot rot, that's fine. Your companion, a clone of Seer, died. They were killed by a dilute entropic. So is this thing entropic? Oh no, there's another one. Oh, I can't, I can't handle that. Is this a new liquid? Dilute warm static. What? Sure, let's let's drink warm static. You are now quenched. I'm I'm glad for that. <laughs> this is oh, this looks like a trap up here. Uh Okay. Hold on. All right, I think the game crashed. Nice. It's okay, we're probably going to die in exactly the same way, but that was a <laughs> harrowing experience. Um, <laughs> I like how we're just like, oh, oh, how are we going to get out of this one? And then just cut to, <sighs> cut to death. Um, so there's a lot of things to look at around here, like crystal flowers, for example. Um, some of these crystal flowers might be some interesting or beneficial fruits that we can 
take advantage of? I don't know. This seems like the kind of place that a crystal of Eve might appear. Man, why did it have to be right there? Oh, and it followed me too. We're still, we're disguised, sore throat, famished, phosphorescent, flying. It seems that, uh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, are we, are we okay? We did kill that slime, I think. We have some clones around. Um, I kind of don't know what's going on. What do we have on us? Eigen rifle, quantum moat. It seems to me uh, someone is shooting rockets. Are they like flying around? They begin leaking. Um, I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. Oh, okay, I'm I'm very blend into bull right now. Okay, I'm gonna shoot them with the Eigen rifle, hoping that that's gonna do anything to them. These guys are really tough. Um, it's not targeting the right thing. Okay, we're gonna lock on to this dilute entropic zero gel. So I guess they are entropic. I think entropic technically means they are from a different dimension. I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want to be near you right now. Geez, I wonder what the underground of this place looks like. They did get rejoined. Okay, they are. I think they're they're cobble, hobbled. They're bad, badly wounded. And there's some more static. Look at this stuff. Slimy, dilute, entropic clone. Oh wait, no, that's un, un, unlock this. Dilute, warm, static. What what a weird thing. I mean, I collected it. Let me let me let's analyze this. I need to I need to analyze computer. Uh, show me celery man. What is this? What is this? A goat's no. Can we like cook with it? Kind of. Do I have enough? Uh, I don't really have enough for cooking and gathering. And oh. Okay, well, if I can, maybe I could level up. I don't know. I got 950 experience from killing that thing. So, you know, there is... Uh-oh. Poison. Show me the door, honestly. I don't want to be anywhere near that. Remember, we have to move, like, multiple parasangs towards this, like, strange plant. I'm really glad I leveled up heightened hearing because I can... I think that is actually going to do a great thing for us to uh, avoid creatures. Unfortunately, I think heightened hearing um, does give the enemy an advantage as well. It basically tells them where we are. What is this wavy effect that is happening? We're famished, by the way. So we're gonna cook a quick meal. There's a kind of a waviness happening. Um, hmm. What is this crystal wall, solid wall? I think it maybe doesn't have a description yet. Okay, let's see if we can't shoot this uh, slime. We could like lock on. They seem to be running away. I don't, I don't really wanna be here. I wanna keep my clone. My clone's actually doing good work for us. There's another of these slimes. They are everywhere, huh? It seems to me this is like the major enemy of uh, the moon stair. They're not too bad, so long as you keep your distance. If you don't keep your distance, well, then, you know, let, uh, let the slog be with you, you know? Literally, they might actually help. You discover Shark Kuva. This is a ruin. A ruin in this place. What is, what is that? Phase Cannon Tinker. Could be cool. Um, oh, those are bats. Smart Saps. Smart Saps are really dangerous. Um, they don't... I don't think they hit me. You don't want uh, Smart Saps to hit you. I'm pretty sure they do take your intelligence away. Ooh, they did actually... 
succeed in throwing down these phase cannons. Why? How come I can't? Oh, do they? Are they out of phase? Phase cannon. Well, let's. Uh, I can't seem to be able to hit any of these things right now. I did take tinkering. I'm not sure if. Oh, I'm seeing some really tough enemies around here. Um, I'm assuming these are going to be like antimatter cells. Highly high capacity. Wow, I'm surprised that they're not actually. They're not uh, something tougher than that. Okay, well, we don't have disassembling yet. Oily crystal flowers. They're pe petal shaded arcs of nectarous secrets. Eat it. Savory, but not particularly satisfying. You know, um, when at first you discover something new in Cud, step one, eat it. What does it do? Does it do anything? No? Okay, well, all right. So, um, you, this guy here, this is a really, really tough enemy. I believe this is a Lithofex, so that's not okay. This is a Dervish. Pretty sure it's a Dervish, and those are also not great. We do have some mental armor, so we would be okay against them, but... I'd much rather, like, avoid all of us. This is, in fact, a ruin in um, in this zone. So, you know, it's, uh, it is, we're going to have some, like, really interesting stuff here. You hear a litho fix the southeast, so you f refrain from gathering. Uh, well, okay. I kind of want to burrow down just to kind of see what's up downstairs what is this this feels like this is just normal mountains mountains gandalf where are we don't mind the uh the, the car outside okay so all right we we accidentally stepped into the mountains so we have to go four parasangs up what is happening why are we enemy to goats no we're not okay um Burrowing Claws is on, so I'm not sure why we're not attacking it. We have to go four Parasangs up, and then I think three Parasangs east. Let me see here. Uh, it might be actually a great idea to go just burrow through the mountains, just to kind of hasten this whole thing up. So let's go... Um, so we're going to have to go th four Parasangs up. So as soon as we hit the moon stair, we know that we're on the right parallel to this uh, Ayn Raj. Tucked into a marvel glade is the cloven trunk of Cheva, the tree of life. Her fallen leaves are a mirrored carpet. Okay, so as soon as we hit, um, as soon as we hit moon stair, we know we're we're in the right direction. Let's go ahead and um, set dig on. And we're going to go ahead and dig up here. And we'll just continue digging. This is going to, you know, this is a weird, like, look, let's look at. So it may be a very genuine look at, because, like, I, here's the thing, right? You can almost consider this a reaction to the new, um, you know, update to Caves of Cud. I was really excited for this, and I, I you know, I, I wanted to, to give my first impressions of it. I didn't want to spoil too much of the story, but I did want to, you know, check out the new stuff. I don't really know how much, um, like, if there's any new enemies or anything like that. But, uh, you know, there's there's definitely this, like, this new area is really interesting. And it it may uh, it may get fleshed out even even more. Who knows? This is very early in in the Moonstairs kind of lifetime. But this will this will basically mark the final stage of Caves of Cud. And it, you know, when we get to 1.0, like there will be, we will have a complete story. Why did there have to be a gel right there? Why though? Deactivate ontological anchor. I wonder if the ontological anchor is hurting me in some way. Do we actually have it on? We don't actually have an ontological anchor on us. Uh, I wonder if they would help us, in fact. Um, hmm. 
Oh, well, okay, we've got we've got really good weapons. Like, leveled up um, burrowing claws are are actually much better. We have a time cube. I, I can't use that. That'll actually spoil part of my current series. I don't know where this ontological anchor is. Um, okay, let me see here. Dismember. Let's hobble it. And that'll give us a bit of uh, extra damage on it as we move away. Then we'll hit it with some Eigen Rifle. Hobble is actually proving to be very good against this guy. We'll hobble it again. They're injured. I am like accidentally hitting my clone, but they're also like standing in exactly the perfect bad spot. So we'll have to move around a little bit. Yeah, hit him, dog. I mean, it's only like several tiers stronger than you, but you should be able to do something to it, right? I'm definitely going to accidentally hit the dog right now. There it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want this to happen, but it did. Okay, let's hobble them again. That's actually doing some pretty good damage. I love the squelchy sounds that are happening right now. Badly wounded. That uh, animated blood is gotta be one of the fun, like the best things I've I've ever seen in Cud. I love this like animated static. It's so good. Okay, so we are on the right parallel. Um, unfortunately, I was saying the um, heightened hearing actually gives an, an advantage to our enemies because because we can technically see them even though we can't actually see them. That means that they can see us as well, and it actually, like, aggroes them ahead of time. It sucks. Um, I, I feel like that's something that might want to get fixed. What is this? We don't know. Doesn't seem to be anything. I think it's just kind of a decoration. Ho 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 ho. Whoa. Is that an enemy? No, it's not. This is another one of these entropic n-dimensional star shell. We have knowledge of a, a different world. I'm surprised walking through the static doesn't do something. You'd think that it would like mess with our, our visuals or something. So we're, we're heading east towards the tree. Um, I know what the quest is that you get after Tomb of the Eaters. Oh, what is that? A known monad. A monad. Fortunately, they are docile. Um, we are wearing a null face. I wonder if this is actually kind of d ruining the vibe of uh, this place. I wonder if these guys are supposed to be, you know, aggressive. Not sure what they just kind of they just kind of vibe. I took the the null face off. The null face, by the way, gives you, um, gives you reputation with like all factions. So that didn't seem to change their demeanor at all. I'll keep it off just in case. We have like kind of almost a uh, a dungeon here. No enemies here. Oh, cool. We can just like walk. We can just like click and then we'll auto dig. There, there's been m many like huge improvements done to like how your character interacts with the world, depending on. Oh, there's a there's a slime right next to me. Oh shoot. Okay, hold on a second. Let's hobble you. And I'm hoping. Okay, they seem to take off like a rocket. They're like charging around. They're almost doing like a. The, the, the equivalent of a gam gam. I forget what they are called. They're, I think they're called gam gams. But they're firing around. This is like semi dangerous. These things are very strange. I don't yet really understand what kind of enemies they even are. They ha seem to have like charging abilities, effect abilities. They, I don't know. I need to untarget this somehow. Um, let's mark this target. Oh, 
What's happening? It seemed to be missing. Can I hobble it? Nothing to hobble. Is it like phased? Marked by seer. Ill coated in plasma. Phased. It is phased. I'm worried about accidentally hitting this um, interdimensional friend here. There's another gel. Oh no. I wish I could hear surfaces and then maybe I would have a better chance to navigate around here. I'm gonna sprint. We are flying. So I think we did get like, uh, I guess we're not flying because we're grounded technically. And we have stiff legs, which means we've been hit with iron shank. Um, we've probably been struck with like every known disease. I don't know what that static stuff does, but it's probably not good. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if uh, he heightened hearing might actually be hurting us. What is that? Dream Krungle. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, do they... Uh, I wonder if they... Focuses their baleful gaze. Prone asleep. It seems to me they, their beam... Is that just a normal... Yeah, green gel. Okay. There's a lot of things happening right now, and a lot of them I don't understand. Are these just, like, normal... Uh, horsies? No, they're not. They're like unicorns. Unimax. Sorry, not unicorns. Unimax. A cute blinking tick. I'm pretty sure that the the warm static is just like the everything effect. It just hits you with... Oh, those are the bad enemies I told you about. Oh, I don't want to hit... I don't want to have to fight one of those. I don't even think I can take them out. They've got missiles and they're they're really tough. Fortunately, our clone is actually like distracting them. So these things... Uh, that's a time portal or yeah space-time vortex it it almost yeah has okay so our clone got sucked up into the vortex that's not good this place is nasty I love the new sound effects for the space-time vortex that is amazing Pretty sure they also have some new, like, visual effects. We're still heading towards the east. So I'm not sure if, like, digging through the mountains is in really, like, the true spirit of this quest. I think we're almost supposed to, you know, handle it like we do the, uh, the rainbow wood. What is this stuff? Chava leaves. Aren't we or aren't we trying to get to a Chava? Is this the tree? What is this? This is like some kind of huge structure. I really need to stop walking in that static. What is this stuff? Chava branch. So this is a, a tree, but I'm not sure what what the tree is for. Does it serve a function or purpose? Is it just something bizarre? We're making lots of progress here. I'm not quite sure where we are. I'm going to take a risk here and try and check on the overworld map. Oh, we've actually moved past the tree, so that was the tree. That was, in fact, the tree. I, I moved. I moved past it. So this is kind of the ultimate goal of uh, the moon stair. is the cloven trunk of Chava, the tree of life, her fallen leaves are a mirrored carpet. 
So this this is the goal. Now, um, the quest as it is right now in the alpha is not completable due to the fact that there's a side quest that's not yet implemented. But we could still have a look at what this is. Chiming rocks. Spiral stairs down. The spiral stairs down are locked. And you don't have the key. So what I just did, it's building a zone, is I just um, control stared down. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to excavate down. And this is a great reason why I, I wanted to <laughs> get the, uh, the burrowing claws, is I'm basically going to cheat around without having to spoil any quest. Okay. Look at this stuff. Chava root. I'm assuming we would probably prefer not to hit the stuff. Oh, we've got the kind of art, um, rusted archway thing happening. No, sorry, not rusted archway. Um, the rustways, the rust wells. Thank you, brain, for finally filling in the gap there. We've got, uh, okay, we can walk over these roots. What is this? Psy crystal. Okay, we can walk over that. I don't know how much of this we're supposed to be walking around, but um, these are... These are like gaps. We can like descend downwards. Might not be a great idea, but I, I kind of want to see where this is going. The tree is still here. It's kind of coming down with us. We've almost got kind of a Dark Souls thing happening where like there's the tree is like cascading down. We're, we're friends, right, Arcanaut? Yeah, we are. Do you have anything cool? Nope. Also, Arcanaut, do you understand where you are? Do you understand how you're not in a good place? Like, what is this Arcanaut? Arcanaut just, like, very casually just... Yeah, I'm just in the, like, you know, in the base of the tree of life at the end of the world. No worries. Do you want to buy a, a bent piece of scrap? No. What? I'm, I'm not really seeing any enemies. I feel like that is uh, not going to be the case once 1.0 is a thing. I am seeing something now. Oh, Kudai? Kudzu. My old nemesis, Kudzu. Don't tell me this is where Kudzu comes from. I wonder if this is a generation error. Oh, wait a minute. We're, we don't necessarily have to go down those pits we is this a staircase up no it's it's still going down and we can actually use this staircase we'll get rid of that can we continue down there are no staircases down so is this just up now so we have kind of menacing looking shale oh this is, is this just shale rock again sandstone Okay, let's uh, continue downwards. This is really interesting to me. This is like forbidden knowledge right now. I don't think they don't think it's like going to amount to anything because I I feel like this is incomplete, but I I'm still really content to kind of check it out. We're nine strata deep right now. The tree is still going. I definitely feel like there are going to be enemies as we descend. Very c Caves of Cud to have a tree that goes down underground instead of up. So this is stairs going down still. Bubbly warped crystalline roots 10 strata deep. Does this continue to go down or is this up? Okay. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna fall down. We can fly technically. No, we can't fly anymore. I don't know how far down we can go. Okay, there we go. We'll just like go down a few layers. 14 strata deep. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna keep going. I I'm not sure if there's uh there's an actual like conclusion to this. This is basically, this feels like to me like the actual dungeon of the stairwell. You know, like what, what the actual dungeon is going to look like. 
Um, so I think this is it. This seems to be the bottom. So things are going to go um, 17 or 15 strata deep and then they're going to stop. Oh no, we're still going down. Our staircase goes down now. And then, and now we're continuing down. No, I don't. I don't want to die. It's basically the only way, only thing that can kill me. Okay, now we're there. Now we're twenty strata deep. I don't know, like how f how far down can we go? Oh, we're also parched. We have no water. So at a certain point, we are going to die right now because I don't have any water to continue this semi-pointless journey. So uh, I think it's safe to say that this is uh, kind of the end of the rope here i i don't i don't think that there yeah sure let's yeah we we took quite a bit of damage there actually told you that you know this is one of the few things that could kill us but i'm just wondering if there's like some kind of conclusion here oolite stony eggs are incubated in pearly planar sheets no larvae ever hatched they're abraded into dust i don't think this is i don't know if this is necessarily a like representation of the dungeon so much as this is maybe what you see when you go 30 strata deep i don't think i've ever been 30 strata deep it really do just keep going 30 strata deep no jasper um yeah we're we're just like it just keeps it just keeps going and going and uh, I think I think that it's just going to keep going. Um, so that's pretty much going to mark the end here. I don't have a recoiler to leave. There is um, there's a little bit of storyline in the alpha, but I think we've we've gotten a little bit of a taste. And I, I wanted to check this out. I know it spoils a little bit the final area, and you know that that kind of sucks um, for me. But I, I figure there are people that are going to appreciate uh, me having a, a little you know um, look at this. And, you know, honestly, the thing that excites me um, as much as the storyline is the interface update, um, that's not something I take for granted. I really do appreciate the quality of life, life features that um, get added to CUD because that's not just going to heighten the end game. That's going to heighten the beginning, the middle, and the, you know, late game. It's like the whole thing. Um, and I really do like this this new interface update. It's, it is really nice. And as I understand it, including, um, you know, some of the more, I'd say, accessibility added to this uh, interface overhaul, I think it also means that the Caves of Cut is going to play a lot more nicely on uh, all screens, you know, so that, that includes um, the possibility or the possible future of Caves of Cut on your phone, um, maybe on a Switch, who knows? I, I don't know that, so I'm not going to, like, you know, I'm just throwing this the ideas around. Also... I like I like I say I think the Steam Deck is you know all, it's already a thing and it already works really well on there, so um, I think that um, this this interface overhaul is kind of a attempt to future proof uh, Caves of Cud so that it it uh, plays nicely with you know multiple devices, so that's really cool. Oh, this looks kind of final. Wait a minute, what is that? That looks like something. This, this looks like something. Chat. The chime is silent and still. The glowing soft cannot carry things. Okay, so um, I guess 39 strata deep, there is actually something. This feels like the actual end of uh, the Tree of Life. Very ironic that I would then, you know, be dying of thirst down here. But yeah, there's no more staircase leading down. That seems to be it. So that's that's as deep as she goes. I wonder, you know, that we, we always have possibilities here. Let's keep going down.
Why not? Are you sure you want to move into 40, a puddle of 47 drams of lava? Oh. No, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, this is good. I love the new sound effects. Man, they just, they're, they're doing so much. Wait a minute, it still says 39 strata deep. So I guess 39 strata deep is as far underground as CUD will allow. And then it just kind of like randomly generates underground. So good to know. That's gonna do it for this. And I, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my, my uh, <laughs> combat with the new weirdo gels that uh, bleed static. It's the most caves of cud thing ever. I love the new like crystalline landscape of the of the uh, moon stair and the new interface is awesome. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I missed because that's kind of how this works. There's probably a ton of stuff in here that I'm not really seeing and that are not immediately obvious. And we'll definitely see them more once uh, you know this this becomes part of the beta branch and then eventually part of 1.0. Um, I'm I'm excited to see them and I might be able to hear more about them in the future. So um, thank you very much. Uh, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.